Welcome. In this video, we're going to do a solo playthrough of God of War, the card game published by CMON. So down at the table for setup, I am going with the solo mode. So we are playing as Kratos. So using the, got the multiplayer side on here. So flipping over to solo mode, we've got 10 health, we've got his rage ability and his rage track. Ability is once we get to here, we can add plus three to our next attack, heal through damage and refresh our allies abilities. So put our rage at zero, our allies are Mimir. Like I said, we're using the back of the multiplayer. So each of these is gonna give us two abilities with an either or. So we can either use the result of the enemy die added to the attack instead of counting as defense for the enemy or heal two. The other ability is we can move, so we can move twice in one turn with his ability or look at the top two upgrade cards and place any in the bottom of the deck and or in the top of the deck in any order. And then for Atreus, he gives us some range options. So we can do a, a ranged attack with stun or get a plus three modifier. Other ability is we can do a ranged attack that targets any two enemies in the scene, or we've got a defense plus one. And we've got our 14 cards just for Kratos there. And they're standy, that'll be laying down, just easier to see on camera. And we'll take the rest of our upgrade cards and once you uh, sleeve those with dragon shields, it makes a pretty thick stack of cards. So try to shuffle these the best I can. And we'll put them here. We'll make this side the top of the deck so that they're not sliding off in the middle of the game. And these will be the bottom of the stack. Off the side of the board, I've got our crystals, poison and stun, and the tokens off to the side. We've got our die, so then we need to set up our scene. So we're gonna take these six cards here Give them a shuffle, and that's gonna start our scene. So it's a three part act. We're just gonna be doing part one. So we take three of those, and then we can set up a pyramid. So I'm gonna set it up like so, which means this is gonna be our first uh, mission. Then we'll take the final boss cards, give them a shuffle, and remove one, and this will be our final boss battle. So the way this works is, we need to complete this to get to round two. Round two, we choose one of these. The ones we don't choose, we flip over and there's got a hindrance. And then if we survive past that, we do pretty much the same thing. We choose one boss to fight and then the other two we flip over and they're gonna provide a hindrance to make the game harder for us. Cause that's what we need. So this is my first playthrough of the game, but I feel like I've got a good understanding of the rules. So the rest of these cards will be just removed from the game for now. So our first scenario, we're doing scene one. It's the travelers, men from distant lands wandering the world for knowledge and power. The Norns predict a fearsome battle ahead. So our winning condition is we need to defeat both travelers. And that kind of tells you where on the board those travelers will be. So we find the scenario that has one at the top and it kind of tells you how we lay out the board. So this goes top left and so forth, and then bottom left and out. See if I gave myself enough room. We can probably move this over a little bit more. So this is gonna form a nice picture. So we've got our two rows and four columns. Basically whenever we're in a column, if we do a melee attack, we can attack in the front row. If we do a range attack, we can attack either front row or back row. What's going on here is during the enemy activation, this is a symbol we look at, this card's gonna activate. It's got a monster with three health, it does a range attack for two damage. If we defeat this monster, that means we flip this card over. This is an interact ability, so if we spend two ranged attack cards, we'll flip those two cards in the stack, which will be this one and that one. So right now there's nothing on that that we can deal with. Over here, activates on an X. It's a creature with three health, range of two, or range that does two damage, and if we defeat it, we'll flip this card over. 
down here, when the rune stones R, B, and N are revealed in this scene, we're gonna flip this card over. So looks like we need to find those to open up this treasure box. Then we have this guy, tax on that symbol. When his armor is broken, we flip him over. So right now he's got an armor of 15 and an armor of 10. We have to do 15 damage in one attack to defeat that. Then in another attack, do 10 damage, and we have to go biggest to smallest in the armor. When he attacks, it's a melee attack, does three damage, and he's attacking every character in this spot and here and here, but we've only got one character, so always attacking us. This one, attacks on that symbol, health of four, melee attack, attacking in these three columns. When defeated, we'll flip this card over. This guy, Armor that's infinite, so he can't hurt him on this side. Does a melee attack, three damage on this column and that column. When he attacks, we flip the card over and he attacks on either of those three symbols. So pretty nasty. And once again, our win condition is to defeat both that creature and this creature. So summary of the game turn. Got the preparation phase, we're gonna draw up to our hand limit, which is seven. Got our activation phase, here our activation in any order. We can move to any column with a free space. So normally you can only have two characters in the space. Not an issue as we're only playing with one character and the two allies. I can only move once per turn unless we're using his special move ability. If we can play action cards as we want. And if we attack, Using ranged, ranged, or melee, we'll advance our rage up one spot. And when we get this maxed out, we can use the rage ability. Uh, interacting, uh, trigger with that. And once we're done with our turn, we're going to reveal an upgrade card. That's gonna have a symbol on it so we can see what activates. And then we get one more activation card. Then we go into the upgrade phase. We discard any cards left in our hand. And of those two cards we're gonna see, uh, we get to choose one to add to our deck and it goes on top of our discard, or on top of our deck. And winning and losing, uh, basically we win if we complete the two quests and defeat the boss monster, but I'm just doing this first traveler scene. Uh, we will lose the game if uh, our heroes, all our heroes are knocked down. So if we take 10 damage, game over, and some of the quests will have a lose condition on the card. So with those basics of the game, go ahead and shuffle our cards. Well, before that, we'll look at them. Uh, so on our turn, we can play one icon and as many boosts as we want. So here, this is a defense that's gonna prevent one damage coming to us. This is just a modifier we can add on to something, so that would prevent four damage if we played that together. Some cards have an option. We can either do a melee attack with a plus one or ranged attack with plus one. And that orange symbol there means our rage moves up. This is either melee attack or plus one modifier and so forth. Here's a defense plus one dealing damage to an enemy equal to the damage we blocked. And that's just doing a range attack. So we're a little weak on range, but We've got a little kid over here to help us out. So shuffling and starting the game with seven cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I want to start the game on that person and see what we've got. So we've got some melee attacks, pretty good modifiers. And a defense, can we get up to 15? So if attacked with that, we can get up to 10, 13. Nope, all right. So what I'm going to start with, we're gonna to try to kill two birds with one stone. We're gonna use his ability there, make a range attack that targets any two enemies in the scene. We're gonna target this ranged guy and that ranged guy. So that gives us a ranged option. And then, Let's see, takes three. Range of five attack on both of those. And we roll, 
It's got a defensive one, so we're doing four damage, which is enough to defeat both of those. So we'll flip these over. So now on an X, all heroes take a damage and we found a rune stone, as opposed to an X shooting us for two. And over here, it's flipping this over. On an F, all heroes take a damage. Uh, right now we get to heal three, but we didn't have any damage on us, which would have been good to know if I knew if I played this before. All right, so those have been used. Now I'd like to defeat this guy. So we're gonna do a melee. So we've got five damage coming in, it's got four health. This guy has zeros, ones, twos, and a five. So not an automatic death. So what I'm gonna do on this, let's use his ability. The result of the enemy dies added to the attack instead of counting as defense. So it's gonna be an auto death. We'll roll anyway. So five, we would have been fine without it, but this guy is defeated. So flip the card over. We advance because of this card. We also advance because of that. So we're up on two. And if we get that symbol for an attack, this card to flip back over. So that guy's going to continually jump back out at us. All right, what else can we do here? There's no way we're doing that. And he's got infinite health. So I believe we are done. Um, instead of standing in the center to get attacked from either side, we'll move over here. So only the Y will attack us. So we're done with our hero activation, scene activation, then extra scene activation. So scene activation is flipping a card. We see an F up here, which is going to you start top row and work our way down. So all heroes take a damage. Don't believe we can defend on that. Then we have an F down here. So he's gonna activate, attacking in these two spots doesn't hit us, but he made an attack action, so he flips over. Then next activation is the Y. So that guy's gonna hit us, swinging for three. We can defend for one and just take two damage. Then we're going to discard cards left in our hand, and we have the option of getting either of these. So we've got a melee attack or a plus two modifier, or discard a modifier to heal any one hero that same amount. We might need some healing. So we're going to put that on top of our stack. This goes to the bottom of the deck. Then we're going to draw seven cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We got some modifiers, we got some ranged. All right, let's see what all we can do. Put our modifiers over here. Of course, we've got our healing. Well, definitely not getting a 15 to do any damage to him. We can pitch those two to get that flipped over, but that doesn't leave us we just don't have big damage coming up. So what we're gonna do is discard a modifier to heal any one hero that same amount. So we're gonna heal for two. Then I'm gonna move over here. Spending two ranged actions. Which is gonna flip this card and the one next to it. So just goes to a Blank picture. And here we get our, is that our third rune stone? Yes. And that's gonna trigger this flipping over, which means all players gain a plus two hand limit. And when he's on the red side there, can't flip back to the other side. So he's not gonna go back to the infinite armor. So that's good. So then, I'm going to use that to move again. Um, 
We're going to use his ability for range attack with stun. And we'll just modify that with a plus one. So rolling for defense. He's got a one, so he's not taking the damage, but the stun does happen even if uh, damage doesn't go. So on his next activation, he will not activate. And we use that as a modifier. That symbol does not increase our rage. We have no more attacks. So if something with stun attacks us, they actually have to do damage to us for us to get that token, but it doesn't matter on that one. All right, so we are done. Just clarify, this is the starter scenario. So I'm assuming this is the one of the easier ones. I think I've got lucky getting that out early. So we're gonna get the activation which is this guy attacking. We're not in range to get hit. Second activation is X. All heroes take a damage. And this guy activates losing its stun. Discard our cards. We get to choose a defense with a plus two or just a plus three modifier, which we're gonna take and put on top. We still need to find a way to do 15 damage. This goes on the bottom. Our hand size is plus two, so we're drawing nine cards, which might help us get to that 15 limit. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so we've got attacks and modifications, a little bit of both. Defense, defense, ranged, discard to heal, our big modifier. Even with all those cards, I don't think we can make it that high. So we're there, we're looking at seven, eight, nine. So we can just get up to nine. This guy's got 20 health, so we've got some time here anyway. Let's see. We'll discard the plus two modifier to heal. Then we're gonna make a ranged attack with a plus one, plus three. So we're getting that off. Basically I wanna get our rage built up. Subtracting one, so we're doing two damage. Then a melee attack, a plus four. Minus nothing. So six damage. And we are done. So two activations. First one is the Y, can't reach us. Second one is the Y, we got lucky. So we are going to go with, um, plus two modifier, put that on top. These get discarded. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops, drop a card and reshuffle. Nine. All right, nice modifiers. All right, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Make sure my math is right. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, my math was wrong. I can get up to 13. So in that case, got our defenses there. We'll make a melee attack. So 
So max rage out. So we're plus six. All went through. So 12 damage. Do another melee attack. We're gonna use our bonus. Add plus three to your next attack. Heal three damage. But more importantly, we're refreshing our abilities here. And that resets. So we're plus one, four, seven, eight, nine damage going in. Minus nothing. So that's going to defeat him. And with him defeated, just put a token on there. So he's not going to activate anymore since he is DEA dead. All right. We've got nothing to heal, so we're done. So we're going to get two enemy activations. That guy swings, can't reach us because we're still over here. And same thing. Ooh, plus six. After using this card, remove it from your deck until the next quest. Well, that should definitely help with that. So nine cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus three. Plus six. So that's nine. Ten, eleven. Twelve. Fifteen. All right, checking math. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, moving over here. Breaking the first thing of armor. This gets removed from our deck until the next quest. And we can't do 10 damage, so we are done. Rage did go up one from that attack. So activating. Um, this guy flips over. And then he's attacking us for three damage. We're going to block two of it. And take one. Ending your turn. Those get discarded. All players draw a card. That's not too strong to discard a card, just to draw a card. So we go with the plus four modifier. It cannot be played with any other positive cards. Top of her deck. Nine cards, we get one. And shuffle. So eight more cards coming our way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. First thing we need to do is 10 damage. That's not going to help us get there. So one, two, three, four, five. Really? It's an or defense. Oh, can't hurt him, so might as well move over here. Attack that guy. We will go ranged attack first using the plus four modifier. Upper Rage, blocking zero, defeated. So he flips over and we advance our Rage. That guy just made us mad for killing him. And there's nothing else we can hit. We do have one damage on us. 
So discard the plus one modifier there to heal ourselves. And end our turn. All right, two activations. This guy flips over. And that guy swings to do three damage. We are going to defend for three, dealing damage back, but he currently can't take damage, but at least we don't take any. And discard our hand. And seems like that's the better card to keep. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Need to do 10 damage, there's a plus two, there's plus five, plus eight. All right, there's, so we're moving over here. Let's see, did I have another plus three in here? Yep. So we're attacking, 10 damage, armor is defeated, so we flip him over. All right, we beat up his armor pretty good. And he's got 15 health, still hitting for three. At least now we can ping him for a little bit at a time. So what we will do We're going to do a melee attack. All right, so that gives us the attack. So we're extremely mad, we're raging. And we've got six going in. And he blocks nothing. And that's kind of useless by itself. So we will use his ability for a ranged with stun, the plus two modifier. So we're doing two more damage. And stunning. And our turn's definitely over since we don't have any cards. So here he's gonna activate, which gets rid of stun. And then that is all heroes take a damage. And let's see, play a single doubling its value or just a plus four. We're taking a plus four. And hopefully with these cards, we can finish this first act. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Five, six. Range attack. Um, we're spending this plus three to our next attack, healing three damage and refreshing our abilities. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, 10, 11, 12. I'll take it up to 15. And he's taking one off of that. So 14 damage is gonna be enough to defeat him. And that is going to be our win condition. So like I said, this is the first one. It's kind of a training to get you used to it, but we did have to work to break those shields. That took some time. All right, so with the scene done, we remove all damage from ourselves. If we had any of the crystals, poison, or stun cards, we would remove that from our deck. We do keep all of our upgrades. Of course, in this one, we get that back for our next quest. 
And then we move on. So we have to decide if we want to go against the Grindles of Ashes and Frost or the Stone Ancient. So we've got some special rules for each. Let's say if we're trying to, we'll go after the Grindles, which means we flip this over. Uh, these golems are harmless except when defeating, defending their territory. Leaving them behind means nothing besides missing out on optimal gear upgrades. Our hindrance, before your first round, each player removes two special cards from their decks. So then we'd remove this scene and then get the scene for two. But with that, that is the basics of how to play God of War, the card game. As always, hope you enjoyed this playthrough. So please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.